Howdy gamers, Ryan here. This is Seaside Survival, and we are in the Badlands. That's right, I need terracotta. That's this stuff. Comes in a few different colors. Got some dead bushes. Uh, yeah. So I ventured out a little ways um, to find this spot, and it's great for gathering this stuff this stuff. So there's terracotta for days. Let's go take a look. Uh, and it's great that this is relatively close. We got a desert nearby. Actually, let's grab some cactus while we're here, huh? Ooh, and a desert, a desert village. Let's, let's go pay them a visit, huh? Anyone home? How are you guys doing? Yeah, I'm just peeking through your window. What's this, a cactus? Thanks. Can I come in? Hi guys. What's up, fellas? He's having a fit. You would too if I just broke through your window, huh? I'm just borrowing some of your cactuses. Cacti. Don't worry about a thing. Do you trade? You trade. Well, the sun's going down. It looks like I'm spending the night here in the village. Ooh. Hello, good day. Do you have trades? You're the same guy from before. What's this, a hotel? No. Mm -hmm. What a thriving village. Congratulations on your continued success. Yep, I'm definitely gonna build a portal out here and, uh, and fast travel out here through the nether because we need desert resources for one, lots of sand, you can use that to make glass, and we'll also need some sandstone, this stuff. It's a really cool decorative block. Not to mention the giant Badlands biome over here. Oh, check this out. How cool. Not you. We got a warm ocean over here. Sweet. Okay, this place is awesome. We're definitely coming back here. For now, we've got some materials to gather. Does anybody live here? Do you live here? Got a cartography table, is that you? Mine now. It's a beautiful day out here in the desert and we're going to build another portal.
Yeah, I think it really brings something to this village. our nether trick here to put a new portal in the nether we'll link up directly to it oh jeez in the nether um, I found where to put the portal so that I can link it up with the desert town and it's right over there so all I have to do is rush over there destroy the portal fly up into the ceiling place the portal patch the hole and not die um, the reason I'm over here is because everything was chasing me all right here we go Yep, we're gonna do this. It's gonna be fine. This is fine. I don't like the sound of that. All right, we've reclaimed the portal for our very own. And now, time to rebuild it and get back to the desert. That's not right. Portal making 101, folks. Perfect. Hey. One day we'll make a better way to travel through the nether tunnels. Maybe an ice boat or a minecart rail or something. Something to make it faster, but for now, we just walk. I've got a ton of cool stuff. I started to gather coral. Coral! Uh, but I realized I need silk touch to get it out of there um, with the color intact. But I do have this uh, this bubble coral, brain coral, etc, etc, etc. So that'll be kind of fun to decorate with. I don't know what we can all do with them, but I'm sure we can figure something out. And what exactly are we building today? Good question. So, the villagers are derpy, as ever. And here's the deal. Some of them are useful, others are very much not useful. So what I want to do is move some of the more useful villagers uh, closer to the lighthouse and let these guys just kind of be, uh, <laughs> kind of just be. Um, but the ones that I want to use to buy books and buy uh, real stuff and, and develop them and do trades with them, I want to have them closer to the lighthouse and in the neighborhood over here. So I'm going to build a house for a librarian villager that we can do mending book trades with. I'm going to build it right here. Mm-hmm. This is a good spot for it. Now the mending villager that we have currently is, well, not awesome. Uh, I think he's trading for like 34 emeralds or something like that. No, 24 em How much? What do you, what do you, what's the going rate now, huh? 32 emeralds is not great. So um, I think I'm going to try to make a baby villager and train them to be a better librarian than the one we currently have. If I could get that trade down to be a bit cheaper, that would be awesome. Yeah, we're just over here waiting for the clay to smelt down. Slowly but surely. Hmm. Ah, the ever exciting world of moving villagers. Toolsmith, you come with me. Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna make you forget this job. 
Mm hmm Now come with me. Over here. Get that job. Take the job. You want the job. Yes. Alright, come with me again. Right this way. He's already max level, so he's gotta be a tools toolsmith. Yes! Come with me, come with me. Okay. You got the job. You're fired. Alright, come with me. This is gonna take a while. Nope, no, 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 it's up here. You want the job. Nope. Please, just go this way. I shouldn't have to push you all the way to your workstation, you know? Just go this way. Now, if you just keep going this way, you'll find your workstation. Don't mind the skeleton horses. There we are! That's where you're- no, 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 no. Come back. Yes. Nope. It's over here. I'll go get it. It's right here. Thank you. Okay. It's this way. It's this way. This. This. This way, please. Right- nope. Nope. No! Oh, the genius found it! Okay, if all else fails, we can nudge you into a boat. Uh huh. And we'll go for a ride. I'll show you just where to go. See, that's your workstation. We're gonna go right in. Yeah, you found it. Okay, we'll block off the door here, and I want you to go to this holding cell. Uh. relocation area. Look around first. Don't fall. No. Don't. Fall. Get in the boat. Now we should be able to get one more villager. I'm thinking the book guy. Um, put them in here. Put another couple beds in here and they should be able to make babies. Then we can make the babies get new jobs. Okay, so after much struggle, I've got two villagers here in the cage, uh, in the holding tank, and um, we're gonna relocate them because uh, I, I can't concentrate around here with all the hmming. If the idea is crazy, but it works, is it a crazy idea? Or is it just an idea? Alright, are you ready for this genius? Ta-da! <laughs> it's a villager roller coaster. We're gonna put them in a minecart and send them on their way. Oh, forgot about the light. Into this uh, holding facility. Okay, the hard part is getting these two nitwits over there in one piece. So we do that, and that, and that. Will you get in this minecart? Yes! Goodbye! Oh, that's brilliant. Farewell! Actually, I'm coming with you. Aha, Tower of Villagers and Minecarts. Okay, you're free. Well, relatively. Top of the morning to ya. Now we need to feed these guys. Good thing we have carrots for days. Actually, I might need more carrots than that. Why don't I give them each a staff and just be sure that it'll work, huh? We've got carrots. Who farmed all this? Did I? Someone else? Hmm. Hey guys, check it out. Some carrots for you. I really have to. 
some carrots for you. And some carrots for you. Now I think they just have to give carrots to each other, and then they fall in love. Yep. The magic should happen any time now. There we go. They love it. Aha! And baby villager. Hello! Oh. Oh my. <laughs> Aha! Two babies! Okay, you kids, you grow up. And give me good trades. Oh my, they're really. I'm gonna get out of here. Give them a little space. Okay. Now they can do their thing in there, and I am actually going to make this safer than ever. No bad guys getting in there and killing my villagers, that's for sure. Okay, so here we go. We're gonna build a house. Well, this is unexpected. <laughs> Hello, children. Ah, the children are alive and well. They're thriving, in fact. Look at them in there. We got some plans for these villagers later. If you know what this stuff does, you know what plans I have. Um, and then we're gonna get them good jobs and set them free. Well, not really free. They're just gonna do stuff for me. It's time we set our spawn and we start building this house. Just minding my own business, watching the sunrise. And who shows up but a creeper? Now I'm tra now I'm trapped in the house. He's right he's right here, right on the other side of this wall. We can't even see him, can we? Hmm. As soon as I go out there, he's gonna blow up. I know it. Okay. Uh, I know. We do that keep him back. Where is he? Huh? Am I going crazy? Did you guys see the creeper too? Step away from the new build. No creeper? Aha! I definitely saw him that time. You guys are with me on this, right? The thing about building on a cliff is that you really don't want creepers raining down on your head. Also, I'm out of arrows. Ah! No, 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 no. Well, all is well that ends. You know what I think? I think we need to wrap the main room around just so slightly. I think we need to continue this wall over to this corner and wrap around this tower. That's going to give us a few extra blocks of room inside to put our guy. 
Yep. Gonna do that. survivors what do you think so far I quite like it I wasn't sure on the colors at first and I think I am going to add more bricks into uh, into the terracotta here replace some of the red terracotta with the bricks but I like how it's coming together it's subtle enough on this hill that it doesn't ruin the landscape but it looks cool I gotta do some more landscaping around it and some decoration. You know how I like to put leaves on things. But as a general structure, I'm all for it. Oh, hey there. I didn't see you come in. Yes, we're just doing a little bit of fishing. No, I don't have anything new to show you about the build. I'm just kidding. Yeah, I do. It's really exciting. Let's go take a look. Check it out. We've got a neat little cottage home down here. It's going to be absolutely perfect for our villager with an awesome milling trade. Eventually. He's still over here in the cave, but we have big plans. So I've added some moss and some leaves, a couple of custom trees, a couple of mushrooms. And uh, of course we added the smokestack as well has a cool look to it, I think. Kind of a steampunk smokestack thing coming out the side, right where the fireplace is. Oh, you can just barely see where the fireplace is in there. We'll go inside and check it out. So as we walk along this path, we'll see a little dirt entrance to the cottage. From there, we can walk down the steep staircase and through the front door. Now, I'm not completely done with the interior yet, but let's take a look. We've got our campfire, of course, and this is to keep it safe uh, for the villager that will eventually wind up living in here. You know how they like to pathfind to the weirdest spots possible. Got a bed, awesome view, and uh, we've got the tower over here too. Now I haven't decided what to do exactly with the tower yet, but we could think of something cool course we also have a basement and uh, well we're not quite ready for that yet so that's it this is the house we'll move a villager in eventually and I'll do a bunch of that work off camera and uh, yeah this is gonna be a really cool build and I think it adds a lot to the fantasy um, theme that we're going with here in the ravine. So uh, really excited to see how this fits in with future builds and get a little bit of life in here once we move the villager in. That's it for this episode. Tune in next time and we'll do something else. See you then.